Yeah, yeah, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Devon Terrell, and welcome to another Help Me Devon tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to give your instruments space for your vocals, an issue that a lot of you may be suffering with when it comes to your mixes and kind of finding that balance of how things belong in your mix. I'm gonna show you one simple, easy technique that could probably be used with many other things as well as making space for the vocals when it comes to that relationship with your instruments. Let's get right to it. Okay, so right now I have a song. I have a bunch of instrumental tracks as well as a vocal. What I'm gonna do is this. I'm going to bypass the effect back and forth. As I'm passing it back and forth, as far as the effect is concerned, this one trick that I have, I want you to pay attention between the relationship of the vocals and the instruments, okay? I want you to listen to the clarity and the vocal presence as well as its relationship uh, with the instruments as I'm bypassing it back and forth. Listen close. Without first. Call another one just to cover up all the feelings I had. Cause you were one of them perfectly above everyone in my past. So baby, please don't look over me. Cause I don't wanna go back. I'm only looking for one chance with you. Cause girl, we caught a vibe. When I leave, I'm on the high. And I only had this feeling that I feel for you. Yeah. So please don't pass me by. Take you for a fry Only have this feeling that I feel for you Okay, so if you listen to that very, very closely and please use headphones or studio monitors or something like that so you can really hear this difference you're noticing that within the relationship of the vocal and the instruments that you're getting less frequency masking. Now, before we go any further I'm going to ask you guys to comment, like, and subscribe It would help us so much Let's continue Frequency masking. This is what you're hearing. And basically, when it comes to frequency masking, you're just hearing a bunch of frequencies colliding with each other. And when this collision happens, when you have frequencies that are playing at the same volume at the same time, you're getting masking. And your ear pretty much takes precedent on what it wants to hear because of these competing frequencies in that range. So, how can we fix this? Now, granted, if you're already thinking to yourself, well, I could just go to frequency ranges and pull those frequencies out, making space for the other stuff. You're correct, you're not wrong. This is kind of how you fight frequency masking, making space, carving out space for one instrument or sound source, and then allowing the other one to get there. But what if I told you there was a super easy way from an analyzer standpoint to pinpoint frequencies that are colliding with each other in your mix? Let me show you what I'm talking about. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come on over to the Fab Filter Pro Q3. One of my favorite EQs, of course, next to the HMD Rosetta EQ, available at helpmedevon.com. And there's a really cool feature in here, if you didn't know, where basically it's called the collision feature. So basically this is how you set it up. If you notice right here, this is all my music. I basically took all my music, which you can see right here, main loop, piano, piano two, and I routed them to a bus. So it's in a bus right here. So all my music is coming to this bus. I'm going to press play and I want you to see what's going on. Call another one just to cover up all the feelings I had. Cause you were one of them perfectly above everyone in my past. So now, two things you noticed. You saw red spots that were very highlighted and you also saw another play, uh, sound source being analyzed. What you were seeing was, you were seeing the vocal being analyzed, the instruments that were coming into the music bus being analyzed, and then you were seeing with the red spots, the frequencies between them that were colliding. This is an amazing technique feature inside of Pro-Q3, you may, know, may have known or not, that allows you to see those colliding frequencies and thus you can actually attack them easy just by seeing them on the actual spectrum. I'm gonna show you my technique as far as how I go about it and how it really does make a difference when it comes to colliding frequencies with everything that um, I'm trying to clear up in my mix. Okay, so long story short, this is how I set it up. Long story short, I go to my vocals. So right here is where my vocals coming in. As you can see, this track says vocal bus and I put a Pro-Q3 on. Nothing going on on this Pro-Q3, I just have it on. Basically, you need to actually put a Pro-Q3 on whatever the track is so that it'll see it in the other Pro-Q3 uh, that you put on. So you'll see it in this vocal bus, I put a Pro-Q3 on here, and then I put a Pro-Q3 on my music bus as well. So I have my Pro-Q3 on two places. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to Analyzer, 
And you can see that the analyzer already has the vocal bus right there for me. So when I click it, it'll then start to show it in the actual analyzer. Thus, what you see when I press play. Watch this. Roll another one just to cover up all the feelings I had. Cause you were one of them perfectly above. Great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to the music bus EQ, which is this one right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at those red spots that I see the colliding frequencies and I'm going to pull some of that stuff down to make space for the vocal. The reason why I'm going for it and pulling and subtracting from the actual music as opposed to the vocal is because I want my vocal to take precedent in the music as far as this entire song is concerned. You do that to taste, but that's my reasoning for going to the music and subtracting to make space for the vocal. Got me. Okay. So as you can see, I'll take these frequencies off right quick and I'll just do it with you just for how it is. So I put it to its factory default. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at what shows up as colliding uh, in the spectra, spec in the analyzer. And I'm basically just going to pull those frequency down. And then we're just basically going to bypass them back and forth to see if we made a difference. Here we go. Call another one just to cover up. So hit this vocal bus. Now it's analyzing. Call another one just to cover up all the feelings I had. Cause you were one of them perfectly above everyone in my past. So baby, please don't look over me. Cause I don't want to go back. I'm only looking for one chance with you. Cause girl, we caught a vibe. When I leave, I'm on the high. And I only had this feeling that I fell for you. Yeah. Please don't pass me by. I take you for a ride. Only have this feeling. Okay, cool. Now let's bypass this back and forth. And I just want you to know, I was using my ears and I was listening and I was like, oh, it's getting clearer. I can feel it kind of, the vocal was getting clearer. That's really what I was listening for. It was as I was backing off of those collision frequencies, I was noticing the vocal was just getting more pronounced. Like I was like, oh, there's more clarity in that vocal. Now let's bypass this back and forth and see if we did anything. Without first. Call another one just to cover up all the feelings I had Cause you were one of them perfectly above everyone in my past So baby please don't look over me cause I don't wanna go back I'm only looking for one chance with you Cause girl we caught a vibe when I leave I'm on the high And I only had this feeling that I fell for you In that one I can tell the vocal just feels more clear it feels like it's in its own space it feels like the music is playing and the vocal is has its own space now you can use this uh, with so many different things use your imagination with this uh, when it comes to even bass instruments as far as getting that relationship between the kick and the bass to be more uh, 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 isolated you can use it for this too now what they have suggested with the fab filter pro q3 is that you throw the analyzer in a high resolution so that it can detect that low end stuff a little bit better if I'm not mistaken that's one of the things that uh, was a tip for it you can use this for so many things. When it comes to relationships, if you're having issues fighting in your mix with the relationships between certain instruments and vocals or just instruments in general, you can come on over here to the Fat Filter Pro Q3. You could throw in an analyzer with this technique I showed you and see exactly what frequencies are actually colliding with each other that are causing frequency masking that are making it feel weaker, quieter, and just covered in your mix. So I hope that that was helpful. Uh, you make sure you follow us at Help Me Devon on Instagram. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. That would help so much. Also, make you make sure you follow us at Help Me Devon on Instagram. Make sure you're also listening to my Audio Nerds podcast every single Thursday. Um, excuse me, Wednesday. And then also make sure you follow us on the Discord with a bunch of aspiring engineers like yourself. I really hope that was helpful. And until next time. Also, make sure you go grab that HMD Rosetta EQ.